Hello, my name's Adam. I'm the co-founder of Reloom and in this video today, I'm going to demo the first version of Reloom Ipsum, which is a Figma plugin that enables you to generate website copy quickly and easily using AI. Now in this video, I'm going to be covering five use cases for Reloom Ipsum and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea on how to take full advantage of Reloom Ipsum and use it to its full potential. So let's jump into the demo. So for this first use case, I'm gonna show you how to use Reloom Ipsum to generate copy for an entire wireframe. Now the wireframe you see here has been built using the Reloom library Figma kit and it consists of placeholder text and lorem ipsum. Now, before we continue this demo, I'm going to take this design up a notch. And as you can see here, I've created a fictional company called Rebank, which is a digital bank. Although I've updated the colors, assets, and fonts, the copy from the wireframe remains the same. So the next thing I'm going to do is open the Reloom Ibsen plugin by going over to the plugins menu in Figma. Once the plugin is open, I'm going to select the frame, which I wish to generate copy for. Now I've selected the frame for the entire page, which means Reloom Ipsum will generate the copy for the entire page. Once I have a frame selected, I'm going to enter the company name and company description for Rebank. The description I'm using for this demo is quite short and we do recommend providing as much detail in here as possible so that our AI has lots of context. But I just want to show you that even with a short description, it can produce really great results. Once I've done that, all I need to do is hit the generate copy button and wait for Reloom Ipsum to do its magic. And there you go, Reloom Ipsum has written copy that fits perfectly inside the page. Let's take a closer look at what it has written in the hero section. So it says, manage your money on the go. That's a pretty strong H1. Then it's followed by some supporting text that says, Rebank is a digital bank that offers a range of financial services through a mobile app. Easily manage your money anytime, anywhere. Now that's a short and sweet overview of the company. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's check out some other sections. Here we have a feature section and Reloom Ipsum has called out some key features of Rebank which include quickly opening an account, securely linking your bank and tracking your spending habits. This is followed by an overview of key benefits like secure banking, instant access and free services to convince the visitor why they should sign up to Rebank. Then we have some customer success metrics and a customer testimonial that actually looks pretty legit. Following this is a nice call to action section and it even writes frequently asked questions for you as well uh, because let's be honest, who could be bothered to write a fact section? So that's how you can generate copy based on an entire wireframe at once. But that's not the only way you can use Reloom Ipsum. There are many more ways which I'm going to show you. So for this next use case, I'm going to show you how to use Reloom Ipsum with existing copy. Now, let's imagine you already have copy for some headings in your designs that you don't want to change because either the client has provided the copy or you've landed on something that you're happy with. Well, you can prevent Reloom Ipsum from overriding that copy and I'm going to show you how to do just that using an example to my right. And in this example, I have four headings that I want to keep. They include the how it works heading and the three feature headings below. Now I'm going to select each heading and lock the layers using the lock feature in Figma. This will prevent Reloom Ipsum from overriding the text. In the plugin, you will see a message showing you how many layers have been locked inside the frame. You can also unlock the text layers at once by clicking this unlock all button, uh, which you can use once you've finished using Reloom Ipsum. All that's left for Reloom Ipsum to do is replace the lorem Ipsum text underneath the headings. Reloom Ipsum will consider the headings that have been locked as approved copy and use it in context to create the supporting copy. This use case here generates great results. So let's click the generate copy button to see. And there you go. Now let's take a closer look at what Reloom Ipsum has written. 
So the heading says, keep track of where your money is going. Reloom Ipsum wrote, ReBank offers a secure and convenient way to keep track of your finances on the go with easy to use tools to help you make the most of your money. Heading two, physical and virtual card management in one place. Reloom Ipsum wrote, ReBank makes it easy to manage your physical and virtual cards together in one place with secure access and instant notifications for transactions. Heading three, instant transfers to make paying that friend back easy. Reloom Ipsum wrote, ReBank's fast, secure transfers makes it easy to pay friends and family back quickly and securely with no hidden fees or waiting times. So after reading this, you can objectively say that the copy is pretty solid, it fits the frame perfectly, and it considers the context, which is pretty cool. Now another use case for when you're working with existing copy is to improve the copy. So let's use this hero heading as an example. What you can do is select the text layer and click generate copy. And if the headline is poorly written, it will improve it by fixing grammar or spelling mistakes. But for this example, it was already pretty good. So it will likely just produce a variation of that heading. So there you go. But what if I wanted to be more specific about the improvement that I want to make? Well, this is where our advanced settings comes in. You can think of notes as a way to provide notes to the AI in the form of instructions listed as dot points. I just wanna highlight that you don't need to provide notes to get good results and that it's only useful for specific use cases like this next example, where I'm going to add a note to make the heading shorter. I'll then click generate copy and there you go, it has made the heading shorter. So that's how you can use notes. We sort of left it there for experimentation. So test it yourself and keep in mind that it's still in beta. So we know that Reloom Ipsum works really well with Reloom Library. However, there are other component libraries out there that Reloom Ipsum works with too. And one of them being Untitled UI. So for this next use case, I'm going to show you how to use Reloom Ipsum with Untitled UI and I'll be using a page template from the Untitled UI Figma kit. Now, before we continue, I'm going to explain how our AI works so that you can understand the best way to use Reloom Ipsum with other component libraries. So the key difference between Untitled UI and Reloom Library is that Untitled UI uses real copy that's based on a subject, in this case, a digital card, and Reloom Library uses Lorem Ipsum and placeholder text and is more neutral. So this is important to know because our AI uses the text in the components to inform the copy. So if the text in, a, in the Untitled UI component is talking about a digital card and you're wanting to write copy for say a law firm or an electric bike, the AI will get totally confused. And so what you can do in this situation is replace the copy in Untitled UI with your own copy, which doesn't need to be perfect or you can replace it with Lorem Ipsum, which provides a blank slate for the AI. And so that's why we created the Lorem Ipsum generator tool. So you can go to the menu uh, in the plugin and you can click Lorem Ipsum generator. And by just clicking the generate Lorem Ipsum button, you can convert an entire page to Lorem Ipsum and match the exact amount of text to fit the layers in the frame. Now, I'd like to caveat that a page with pure Lorem Ipsum isn't going to lead to the best results. So I've created a version that uses a mix of Lorem Ipsum and some real copy. So let's give this page a try by clicking generate copy. And as you can see here, the results are pretty good when using other component libraries like Untitled UI. The last use case is using Reloom Ipsum with custom designs. Now a custom design is a design that has been built from scratch and therefore doesn't use any of the recommended Figma component libraries. Now Reloom Ipsum works with custom designs too. However, if you're working on a design that does not have clearly structured and named layers or doesn't have the layout of the design completed, you're just not going to get the best results. In this situation, we recommend you use freedom mode. Now freedom mode is a mode you can only use on individual text layers and it is like using ChatGPT within Figma. 
So let's use this custom design from the Realm Design League final as an example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Realm Epsom. I'm going to select a text layer and I'm going to turn the include context toggle off in Realm Epsom. By turning this off, you'll enter freedom mode where the AI will ignore the surrounding elements on the page and the company name and company description. So in this prompt, it's important that you provide as much information as possible, just like you would when using ChatGPT. So for this, I'm going to say, write a headline for an electric bike website uh, that will be in the hero section of the website. And there you are. It has generated copy based off a prompt in freedom mode. So that's how you can use freedom mode. And that is one way of using Reloom Ipsum with your custom designs. Thanks for watching that demo. If you want to learn more, visit reloomipsum.com. That is where you will find a link to our playground file in Figma, which has more information about Reloom Ipsum. And if you want to join a community of Webflow and Figma developers and designers, join our Slack channel. There is a link on our website there as well. And lastly, if you'd like to receive more video updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be providing updates on all things Reloom, including Reloom Ipsum. So see you next time and thanks for subscribing.